Hi there, it's Jennifer, and uh, today I'm here to do a tag video that I didn't actually get tagged on, but I thought it seemed like it was fun, and so I thought I would do it, and boy, oh boy, I just have to say, it is so bright. There are three windows right here and another one right here. We had probably 16 inches of snow from yesterday's to today and it's so it's kind of blinding me it's really bright but anyway it does make for some fairly decent lighting um, on this overcast day um, so I am going to um, do a tag that is about my 14 favorite things from 2014 and um, I actually saw this on a channel um, it was Janice at JJ Miss Ma'am hi Janice um, anyway, um, I thought it sounded like it would be a fun one to do, and quite honestly, picking 14 favorite things for the past year was not very hard for me, because I just recently, about this time last year, discovered YouTube beauty videos. And before that, I always wore makeup, but I just kind of stayed with the same old stuff, because I just wasn't sure what stuff to, you know, was good, or or anything and so I have started to um, really try a lot of new things in the past year and so I was easily able to pick out 14 things there are actually a couple things I left off my list um, the other thing is that of the 14 products that I sh that I chose um, I wanted to make sure that that the majority of them were ones that I've been using most of 2014 and so there's only one of them that I re that I started using in November all the rest of them I have used for six months or more in the past year and these are truly my favorite things I use them every day or almost every day there are a couple things that I trade out um, but anyway so so let me go ahead and get started and show you I'll show you the one that's the newest one of my favorites for 2014 and that is my Clarisonic Mia. Mom, once again, thank you. She gave this to me for my birthday in November. I use it every single night. It's wonderful, super exfoliating, um, really, really nice and, um, and I love this. I wasn't sure that I would get into using something like this every single day, but I have been and I love it. So, some other things, let's see. Oh, one of the things I discovered um, early last summer is this Aloxy um, Hair Thickening Serum. And that's spelled A-L-O-X-X-I. I'm gonna link all of these, well, I will link my blog below. It's really easy, it's busybeingjen.com. And I'll show each of these things so you can take a look. Um, but anyway, Aloxy Hair Thickening Serum. I just had been having some trouble with my hair kind of being seeming kind of flat and thin and this you just put a, a couple little drops in your hand and rub it through um, before you blow dry it and it really does add volume to my hair especially because I live in a very dry climate and so we don't have very much humidity to add oomph to hair so favorite favorite um, okay another one I've been using this one since last spring absolutely adore it it is the Lorac Natural Performance Foundation. I first saw this um, on um, Lori Over 40. She did a video where she started out with nothing on her face and then, and she had some like red blotchy spots and stuff like that. And she was showing how well this covered things up and oh my gosh, did it ever. I just watched it and it was amazing. And then toward the end of the day, she came back on video and showed how it had stayed on. And I touch my face a lot. And so usually by the end of the day, a lot of my makeup is gone, but this is wonderful. I use um, the, the shade um, four. Okay. Uh, another thing along those lines is a concealer that I have been using and loving. Very basic drugstore concealer. It is um, by um, Maybelline, and it's Instant Age Rewind. It's just this little tube. It's got a um, like a spongy thing on the end, and you twist it for it to come out. Um, I put a I put a eyelid primer above and below my eyes, and then I put this on top of it and dab it in. It's really nice. Along the same lines, what I put on top of this is um, oh, and let's see what. This is light pale, and um, and the, the another one that I use on top of it that I've fallen in love with this year is a Tarina Tarantino Hyper Light. It is um, 
a highlighter. And so I put that, it's, it's got a little brush on the end. You turn the bottom and the product comes through the top. I kind of dab it right in those areas where I get dark circles. And I also get a little dark spot on the inside, um, like either side of my nose at the top by my eye. And so then I just um, sponge that in and, um, and it does a really nice job. And speaking of sponging it in, um, this is not a beauty blender or whatever that sponge is called that's $20 or whatever. This is just a run of the mill sponge. I will look it up and I think I got it at Walgreens. I'll look it up and put the exact name down there. I know people say the beauty bl blender is just so wonderful and maybe one of these times I'll try it and realize that this <laughs> felt falls far short, but I love this sponge and um, I hadn't ever really used a, a sponge before with makeup except to blend my eyeshadow and I now I use a brush to blend my eyeshadow now, but this is so nice and it's got it's I used it this morning so you can see it's got makeup on it. It's got this um, wedged area here that gets really nice underneath the eyes and then the pointed end is really nice for going into the corners of my eyes when I'm putting this in. So I use this every single day. Okay, um, two other things that sort of go together. Um, last spring, I started using Retin-A, or as they call it, um, Tretinoin Cream. I started out with a 0.01%, um, really, really low. And some people say that, you know, it, it, they have a very hard time using it. I started with a 0.01 and really, really slow. So the first week, I put it on once. And the second week, I put it on two days. And the third week, three days. And so until I was up to putting it on my skin every single day. Um, then when I ran out of that, my doctor prescribed to me um, um, the 0 .05. And I kind of thought, oh, you know, I'll be able to use it several days a week. I'm, I'm used to that other stuff. No. I started getting, you know, really sensitive and my skin kind of just um, peeling off and things like that. You have to go very slowly. So I, once again, one day a week, the, the next <laughs> week, two days a week and, um, and build up. When you use um, Retin-A also, you kind of, um, you can put it all over your face. You want to avoid the corners of your mouth right here. And you also want to avoid right below your, um, on the outside of each nostril. And I think I, I think I read or heard or my doctor told me or something that we have some glands or something that are right there and you do, so you want to kind of avoid that area. You can put it on your eyelids and below your eyelids. You just want to not get too close to your eyes. So I just put a little bit at the top and underneath and then I just kind of dab it around. And you know, it's gonna go through the skin and travel and all of that. It has not been a year yet and usually they say it takes up to a year to see a difference in this, but I do notice a difference. I use this and my homemade vitamin C serum. I, I started by just buying a vitamin C serum, but now I make my own. So I use the vitamin C serum in the morning on my face and then I use the Retin-A at night and after I use my Clarisonic. Um, but this, I have, I've noticed right away within the first few months that it gave my skin a much more fresh look. And it just seemed like, because both of these have, um, uh, have exfoliating qualities. And so it just seemed like it was really just getting, you know, getting rid of a lot of that um, skin that needs, needed to be sloughed away and just made my, my face just look really nice. I would wash my face at night, take my makeup off and look in the mirror and go, wow, <laughs> my skin looks pretty. Um, and so, um, so anyway, um, I, I wish I had taken before and after pictures I, or, or before pictures. I didn't. Um, but at age 51, I think if this kind of helps me to continue to look youthful over time that, you know, um, I've seen enough people who've had really great results from it that I'm not crying that I didn't take before pictures. But I love these two things, my Tretinoin um, Retin-A and my um, Vitamin C Serum. Okay, a few more, well, let's see, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, <laughs> we're on number nine. 
And that is um, a blush that I started using last June. It's by Tarte. It is a cheek stain and it's in the shade Blushing Bride. I got this in a boxy charm box. This is actually still the first one that I have, although I have purchased another one, but this stuff lasts a long time. So what, I started mid-June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, over six months. So, and it's like a crayon sort of thing. I've got that much left. That's still quite a lot. And um, anyway, <clears throat> I wasn't sure how I would like this over time because I've been so used to using powder blushes. And so to have a cream one, even though I liked the color at the beginning, I still wasn't sold on it after a month of using it. Because I just thought, oh, I kind of like using a powder powder blush. And this one, you know, you kind of swipe it on. I put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my nose. And then I take um, just a, um, a stippling brush and just kind of gently blend it in. It works better than trying to use your fingers for that. But I love it because, well, I really do like the, the color and I'm still using it. It's winter and I'm still using this. Um, but I really like um, the fact that it stays on long, for a long time. And I think because it's in kind of a crayon formula, it does that, stays on better. Um, so yes, love this one, it's by Tarte. Uh, another one that I have um, loved for a very long time this year is my Naked Basics Urban, De or Urban Decay Naked Basics Eyeshadow Palette. It is all matte and neutral shades um, and really, really nice here. Cover the mirror so it doesn't blind you. Um, one of them I've seriously hit pan on, you can see. And so what I did is I purchased just a single eyeshadow shade, the same color, so that when I, um, so I don't have to waste all this stuff because this has lasted quite a long time. Um, it is, yeah, just really nice. Um, all of the shades blend really well and um, I'm in love with this. Okay, next one. Um, this is another Tarina Tarantino. I did get this in a boxy charm box. I used one all the, all the way up and bought another. This is a Tarina Tarantino eye pencil. It's called Eye Dream Highlighter Hyperliner. It is in the color Cute Robot, which is blue. I never wore blue eyeliner before. Couldn't imagine that I would wear blue eyeliner, but I was reading about it and heard that, um, that blue eyeliner is supposed to look really good on a lot of people, regardless of your skin tone, because it makes your, the whites of your eyes kind of pop. And I love this. My mother even uses this now. She didn't think that she would be into um, blue eyeliner either. And um, it just looks really pretty on her, makes her eyes look really green. And um, so it's a very nice cream, formula. It blends and smudges really well. It stays on pretty well in the tight line and water line. And it does not like get up on the upper parts of the lid. So yeah, this is a definite win. Another one that I fell in love with last summer is by NYX and it is their Butter Gloss. I, in particular, I have two of these. One's, in, one's Creme Brulee. This one's in Eclair. This is a lighter one and more appropriate for summer. I decided to choose this one for my favorites because I used it for so long over the summer and the creme brulee I just recently got. It's got a little doe foot um, applicator on there. Really smooth, does not dry out your lips and it's not sticky. I just hate sticky glosses. Here, I wanna put some more on. <laughs> I think I just stabbed myself below the lip. Yeah, so nice, smooths on really nicely. So this is NYX NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair, although they do have several others and I like my creme brulee as well. Okay, so we're getting down to number 12, which is, um, a, this is a brow um, pencil. I think I got this one in an Ipsy bag last spring. It's lasted me forever. I'm happy to buy it again, but I still have it. It's It Cosmetics Brow Power in the shade Universal Taupe. It has on one end um, just a 
pencil thing here that screws up. And it's not super creamy, but not super, super dry either. Look how much I still have left. Let me show you this. Look at that. Look how much I still have left. I've been using this probably since last April. Um, I love this. It's a great color. And um, you kind of scribble it on, you know, kind of put it on. The, it's really good color for, for me and, you know, having blonde hair and it's just the perfect color for my eyebrows. And on the other side, it has a brush to blend it in. Mine has been long broken. <laughs> so I use a, another little spoolie I have and I kind of blend it in with that. But it has a, a blending kind of a, it looks like a mascara brush um, on the other end. So I love this. I use it every single day. I had been trying some other brow pencil, brow, makeup kind of things um, before this and just hadn't landed on something I loved and so this is really good. And the last one, um, drum roll, of my uh, 14 favorites for 2014 is this mascara. I talk about it all the time. It is Revlon Bold Lacquer and um, I got this one in a uh, not this particular one, but I tried it for the first time because it was in a BoxyCharm box last June. It had no high hopes for it at all. Most um, mascaras I try just leave my eyelashes just looking thin and short. And this one was so amazing. It was, um, it's just real, leaves your eyelashes really thick and long. It's got this great, um, really bushy, spoolie on it and then the cap is really long so it's really easy to use um, and it sells in drugstores and Target. Um, I've seen it for $6.99. I've seen it for lo as low as $4.99 and that was it wasn't even on sale. It was just selling at Target for $4.99. So I actually have several of these in my backup stash. I do not get the waterproof formula. Some people have said that they can't get the waterproof formula off um, and this one stays on very nicely, but it does come off easily with um, just with um, makeup remover. So I've gotten several different colors. I have black, I have dark brown, I have brown, I have all of these, you know, different ones. Love this. Favorite mascara. Um, yeah. So that's it. Those are my 14 favorite things from 2014. Um, they're actually, as I was going through this, there were some, that, some things that I fell in love with toward the end of 2014 and um, I was having a hard time. Do I choose this or do I choose that? And I just decided, well, with those things that I've just started using, um, I'm just going to hang on to those. And if I continue to love them throughout 2015, you will see those things show up in a video um, at the end of next year. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys um, were able to find some of your fun things to use throughout 2014. If you had a product that you just were in love with in the past year, um, and uh, I didn't mention it here, mention it in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. I'd love to. I'd love to try it out. Um, so anyway, I'd just like to thank you for watching. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, just click that button right there and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which is about two or three times a week. Hope you guys have a happy 2015. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.